Hey everybody, it's about 7.14 at night and I'm waiting for my dragon lights to go on. Watch, since I'm waiting and filming this, watch them not go on, but every night they go on about, it was 7.20 when I started noticing. Now it's earlier. There they go! Oh, check it out! Check it out! Let me see what time it is. Okay, it's 7.15. That is so cool. You know, they work now, but at about 8.30, 9 o'clock, they'll go out. And I have to mess with them. If I mess with them a couple times, I can get them to go back on and stay on. Yesterday they stayed on, but they were really dim. And I think it has something to do with how much solar they get that day. I really want to move them. I want to move them over here where I have these lights. These are actually battery operated. Isn't that cool? I have, um, I should turn lights on to do this, I guess. The control box is right there. And it actually has different settings. You can make them go slower. And they're LED and they take, it takes two or three AA batteries. But I've been, um, having this lit all week and they're they've been lasting a whole week on uh th you know those two batteries and i usually turn them on like when it starts getting dark and i turn them off when i go to bed i also added the tape light here that's also battery operated i stuck it up there with double-sided tape i have put this one up a few days ago i think it's like four dollars at walmart they're battery operated, LED, cheap. Who knows how long they'll last, but they serve their purpose for now. Mm -hmm. The reason why I want to move these ones is because I think I'm going to move them over here. Because those are only going to work when I'm plugged in or with the generator running. Because those are plugged in. <laughs> so, um,. I don't know, it's, it's, they're so pretty, they're a different shade of purple, but I won't be able to use them, so I might leave them up and just put those up too, I don't know, probably after a few months I'll just take them all down and say I don't need this anymore, but for now I'm glad I can put some lights up as I transition into my new life. I'm so thankful that God didn't just throw me into a new life, but he's letting me baby step it. Hey everybody, last night I put my dragonfly lights around my skylight so I could put the, the solar panel right in there so it would always get sun as long as I'm in the sun. So I'm waiting to see if they go on at the same time. Right now it is 7.13. Last night they went on at 7.15. So they might go on a little bit earlier today. I'm wondering, because there is a light across the little road here. I don't know. There's trees too, so let me see. I hope they go on. They were on last night after I put them on up there. They stayed on, but they were very dim because um, it just didn't get enough sun over on this corner especially when it's cloudy but when it's cloudy it gets sun it's bright right there i know i put my lucy light there one day it was rainy and i put my lucy light there all night or all day and it came on okay now it's 7 14. when i hung my lucy light there on cloudy days um, it was fully charged so I'm hoping the same will be true with this but today was sunny today was really hot too and I didn't want to mess with that air conditioner I thought about it I was going to unplug and turn on my generator and figure out exactly 
how I'm going to um, live when I'm not plugged in because like right now it's kind of easy and I know it's not going to be like this and I don't want to get used to this because you know now I'm plugged in so everything I plug in powers I, I can plug in my coffee maker my computer you know and so when I'm um, not plugged in I'm going to have to use my generator and I won't be able to keep it on all the time either so I guess I just have to leave it on long enough to charge everything up and then turn it off because all I need the generator for to power then is those outlets right I guess because I can use my fans and my lights on the battery well of course the generator charges the battery too You know, I think I understand everything, but then when I start thinking about it, I'm like, do I really understand how this all works? I know what I have to do is look on all of my cords and find out how much amps or volts it takes to run those things. One of the things that I plug in is a strip that has four USB ports. And I usually have at least two plugged in at all times. And... Right now I have three because I have my old iPhone that I've um, turned into a camera and I put a selfie stick on it. I haven't really did any videos with that yet, I don't think. And uh, sometimes it'll have a one of those uh, power banks plugged in there recharging. And what else? I know the refrigerator runs on propane. right and uh, the stove runs on propane but it needs that spark is the I don't know if the battery makes that spark see I'm gonna have to figure that all out and I guess I have to turn on my generator to make coffee in the morning so I might come up with an alternative way to make coffee I've seen a lot of different videos on different ways you can make coffee I do actually have instant coffee that I figured I would use, but I know I don't really like instant coffee either, but I sure will drink it when there's nothing else. Now it's 7, 18, they haven't come on yet, hmm, I know as soon as I turn the camera off it's going to come on. I'm wondering if that light across the way, but it didn't last night, so I'm wondering why it don't come on. If it doesn't come on pretty soon, I'll start messing with it. Sometimes you have to do that. It was really hot today, like I was saying, but my fans kept it cool enough in here. It was bearable, and it was 90 or 91, and I guess it's going to be in the 90s for the rest of the week. So I might try to see about the air conditioner. Um, I'm not going to turn it on though with the generator running. I'm not. Until I figure out what's going on. I believe it's probably... There they go! They went on while I was talking! 719. Yay! Oh, they look, they look better there. I'm going to put some more hooks so they're up better. Now I don't know what's going to happen to them when I start driving. We'll see, I guess. I like them there better. Yeah. I also got one of these Lucy lights. This one changes colors. 
or you can set it to stay on any one of these colors. The last setting is it changes. Man, it was $25. Dang. The white ones, I think, were 18 but I love it. But I won't leave that on. I put that on when I go to bed. That's my nightlight. And I just leave it on one color. And it's good. It's a solar light. One of those Lucy lights. Talking about right there. Little crazy tree bugs. Keep getting in my fan. Now when I turn that fan on, it's going to make a hell of a noise. And those things are being slaughtered. Oh my god. And those are not soft bugs, they're hard bugs. They crunch when you step on them. So they really crunch when you turn the fan on, okay? Jeez.